All right, guys, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about a huge problem that Amazon is facing um, that will subsequently impact our sellers um, if they don't do something about it um, in the long term. Now, I know I've done a few videos recently where I haven't been overly happy with Amazon seller support and how they treat sellers, whereas this video is more looking from the customer's perspective. And the reason I've made this video is I was doing some shopping this week or over the last week, I was buying a few different bits on Amazon and I've been getting to the point where I've given up trying to buy things um, because I just can't trust the reviews and whether they're any good. So what I wanted to do is show you some examples of products that I found um, and reasons why I believe the reviews are fake and to give you guys, when you are acting as customers, um, some tips on how to spot what are fake reviews so you don't go buying a product that looks really good but actually is fake um, and it's no good at all. So I'm gonna go through four different products that I've found Funny enough, three of them are um, Bluetooth earphones. Now, I was buying some this week, I just wanted a simple set, so I found quite a few examples. Um, and the last set is a radiator uh, bleed valve, which as you can imagine, I lead a very exciting life. So let's uh, let's kick things off by looking at this first set. So you come on here, 35 pound, seems quite cheap, especially compared to what the Apple equivalents would be. 38 five-star reviews, or 38 reviews with a five-star average. Let's take a look, yes, so the first thing, the first red flag, all five stars, as soon as you see that, that is, that almost never happens on Amazon. So if, if, as soon as I see five star average, uh, there's red flags straight away. The next thing I like to do is go to, um, I go to view all reviews. Where are we? See all of the reviews. And then there's this uh, additional filter box now called uh, images and videos only. Straight away, we've got 16 reviews of people posting videos or pictures of these Bluetooth. I mean, who does it? Who, who buys this and goes, oh, let's take a picture of it in. Obviously, they are giving these away probably, or they're paying for these reviews. You know, when 16 out of 38 are um, gallery reviews with either video or image, for me, that is definitely fake, um, and I wouldn't go near this listing with a barge pole, to be honest. So that's the first thing. Always keep an eye, if there's a, if there's a disproportionate amount of images um, and videos in the reviews, then usually um, the vast majority of them are fake. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, 89 reviews, five star average. Let's take a look at these. Let's see, what's, let's see what's wrong with this. Okay, so the first thing I noticed with these is that obviously there's a lot of five stars. They've been sent a little bit longer, so you've got a couple of uh, lesser stars appeared. However, you'll see these reviews are for variants. Tiffany Blue, Silver, Cool Black, um, Cool Black. Now, these guys are actually selling it in one color. So, and I've seen this a lot on people that are faking reviews, especially the Chinese sellers that get kind of 50 reviews appear in a day or a couple of days. Um, and it seems to be that this is the way they are using to dodge the algorithm. What they're doing is they're creating lots of variants to get the reviews, but are only actually selling one product. So, you know, rather than selling 10 that are all black, they change the name slightly. So they've all got a slightly different name. And then maybe that is uh, avoiding Amazon's detection for this. Um, but a good way to spot it with these, if we go to the 89 reviews, uh, go to uh, view all reviews like I just did, and then sort them in uh, most recent, sort by most recent, but then go to the older ones, because that's where generally people do all their fake reviews at the start of a listing. So let's skip back a few pages and then see what these reviews are like when this, this listing first launched. So here we go. And this is where you can see these are so fake. Firstly, all of these on the 23rd of April. I mean, as soon as you get more than a couple of list reviews, on the same day, usually they're fake. So all of these reviews, black, red, black, blue, black, gray, black, gray, all five stars, all on the 23rd of April, um, black, gray, black, blue. Um, so you can see they are using a, a couple of techniques to generate lots of fake reviews by changing the, uh, the color, the variant that they're selling, and with them all appearing on the same day. So there's three things to look out for from those first two products. One is look out for too many pictures, Second one is looking out for fake variants that don't actually exist. And the third one is looking out for lots of five-star reviews appearing on the same day, especially if you sort in date order and look at some of the original kind of first 10, 20, 30 reviews, then it should become really clear um, whether they're running lots of fake reviews or not. This one is a slightly different example. So full three reviews, five stars, great. That looks, that looks like a brilliant product until you go onto them and read them. And these you think, actually, this might be a decent product. These are quite old, you know, 2017, 2016. And then you start reading the reviews and they are for a different product. So this was a gift to replace a lost Leatherman. I mean, I don't even know what a Leatherman is, but let's, uh, let's take a look at a couple more here. Uh, great for my feet. I don't know about you, I don't tend to wear my earphones on my feet. Um, and you see that throughout this listing. I mean, just have a look. Faucet clamps really well and locking mechanism is great. So this 
is a hijacking, not so a hijacking is, is taking over a listing, an older listing that had reviews that might have either gone, probably gone redundant on Amazon or they've actually, have actually taken over an active listing. So they've got lots of five star reviews, but not for this product. If someone doesn't look at this and just goes, oh, 43 reviews, five star, 29.99, it seems like a good deal. Uh, so that's four different methods so, what, so far that people are using to get fake reviews. Um, and then the other one, uh, like I say, I was buying a bleed valve for my radiators, so exciting times. And I thought, okay, this is the sort of style I want. I uh, clicked on the reviews. I mean, it's only cheap, so I'm not really too fussed anyway on this. But the first thing I saw in this review was, that's not the sort of radiator bleed key that was advertised. This, I've actually got this style, and if you look, there's a very slight curve there, and also the handle is different. And that is the reason I didn't want to buy this, because that's not the style I wanted. The style I wanted was the one shown here, where it's a perfect square in the middle, um, and with an easier to use handle. Um, and this has been caused by, by the looks of it, lots of sellers on the same listing. So when there's lots of sellers on a single listing, how do I know which seller is gonna send me the right product? So that's just four, you know, that's just four products that I've shown you guys, and this is happening all over Amazon. Um, and what's happened that I found this week, um, there was something, I was gonna buy some kitchen tongs this week, um, and I found a really nice set, I thought they really good, price was okay, and I looked on the reviews, and it had the same problem um, as this one where they'd hijacked another list in the reviews for, what, for, what, for everything else other than kitchen tongs. So in the end I said, I'm not gonna bother, I'm just gonna wait till I'm in kind of John Lewis or Lakeland and I'll go and buy a set that I can actually pick up and buy. Um, and with the stuff like the radiator key, I thought, what's the point of buying it off Amazon? I don't know which one I'm gonna get. Um, and usually, I'll be honest, I used to, or I generally shop on Amazon for three reasons. First is Prime, because I want the next day delivery most of the time. Uh, secondly is the customer service is they generally don't quibble any returns which us sellers actually hate but as a customer it's a great thing and the third one is the reviews allow me to distinguish which products are better than others and that is probably for me the biggest reason why I use Amazon over eBay because generally I find eBay slightly cheaper but what I've been finding lately is because, because I can't trust the Amazon reviews I'm just going well I might as well buy it a bit cheaper on eBay and take the chance because I'm taking the chance on Amazon because the reviews are probably fake so I just want to do this video to help you guys spot those reviews. Also, if someone at Amazon sees this, this is a massive problem. If you do not sort out the reviews and the people having faith in your reviews, you will lose customers, you will lose sellers, and then eventually your business will taper away. Now, obviously, it's me saying this probably means absolutely nothing to them, but I can already see from speaking to family and friends and their buying habits that they are trusting reviews less, they're trusting Amazon less, they're spreading over to other sites more and more. So just be aware of this guys, hopefully this will save you from buying some rubbish products. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below whether you've had any experience with buying products that had fake reviews. Um, yeah, just drop it in the comments and let's see if I'm the only one that's experienced this or if lots of you guys are as well.